And here we go, the criminal dossier of LA. So this actually shows you basically all the levels, and, or basically where all the levels take place, as well as the various bosses that you fight. LAPD wow. database, user Lieutenant Diablo, pass, uh -huh. request crime zone map, Catalina inset, pre crime lord status display all. Okay, we might as well go ahead and go through these since uh, might as well. So, server contacted, searching for files, director found images, uh-huh. Vekir Tel-K, leader of the Apocalypse, a gang of ex-government soldier types. Tel-K has physical capabilities of a Navy SEAL combat with, coupled with the savagery, character of a savagely deviant delinquent. Has been a hired killer for various organizations, was incarcerating in Hell's Gate Maximum Security Prison. Yeah, his guys are the ones that in the game are basically salamanders. Ah. Uh. That ha as in they have the salamander power armor. Oh. Mm. They just want to grill, man. <laughs> yeah. Grill, he most certainly does do at the end of the boss fight. <laughs> because, you cook, because you cook him alive? Pretty much. I think he gets completely vaporized so that only his metal boots are left standing at the end of the cutscene. Ooh. You're like, what a way to go. They even made it look like a, an old western where so the X1 Alpha even twirls its rocket launchers like it's twirling a pistol, a revolver around. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Elias uh, says you yeah. should play Galaxy at War multiplayer with each other. Mountain Blade with mods. Okay. All right. Well. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Uh, anyways, Miles Mysterio, yeah, we've seen that. Heir to an optics fortune. A leader of the Savage Gang, the Observers. Convicted assassin, fugitive from justice, numerous warrants issued, none served. Extremely dangerous. Used as a plasma cannon mounted on Griffith Park Observatory to extort tribute from transportation companies. Yeah, this guy, this is the guy that blew up Elon Musk's uh, space plane earlier in the comic. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I miss so much. <laughs> Klein and Hills, uh, Dr. Tiffany Klein and Sayer Hills, religious scam artists. <laughs> A failed used scam artist. What yeah, the fuck? fuck? So he's a televangelist. Good to know. Yeah, he was going to say that. Goddamn it. <laughs> if you give us money, God will make you rich. <laughs> What the fuck? So basically, <laughs> just oh Jesus, gonna try and go full Jim Jones. <laughs> oh no, don't do that. Uh, I was gonna say Jehovah's Witness. So he's a Jehovah's Witness that shows up to your door. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, only this guy brings guns too. Yeah. Religion. You have a moment to talk about guns. <laughs> Now, this is a religion I can get behind. Yes! <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. So, excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, our belief called Bastism? It's based around <laughs> weapons, which are our religion. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me when I say this is the way. <laughs> Lord Chatticus. Does this mean I get to be in. Does this mean I get to be Second Amendmentized? Yes. Perfection. By yes, we'll, we'll just, yes, we'll get what a. Uh, no... We'll get a. We'll get a priest to bless all your holy firepower. Honestly, what I just said made no sense, but you know what? Fucking yeah. demons never stood a fucking chance. A failed. I'm pray it. <laughs> a failed. Uh, pray all right. <laughs> a failed podiatrist. Klein now is now the high priestess of a religion she invented, involving the worship of a boutique mutant created by the deranged hills. In order to feed this massive beast, the cult has abducted indigents from downtown street. Klein and Hills use the cult to protect the beast. Deranged hill, so it's just part of the anthill kids. Mm. So, he's inducting, so he's inducting foreigners to use for his cult. Mm. All right. <laughs> well, a, a foot fetish woman fails and becomes this. Something was lost in, tra in translation. Mm. Uh, yeah, that did kind of. Yeah, it does kind of sound off. <clears throat> L Hollywood. Just... All right, sorry. 
Laura Hollywood, superhuman mutant, expert in nuclear physics, biology, and genetics, can fire radioactive rays from his extremities. Oh, what? Extremities. <laughs> That's um. Extremities. Are we talking? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I cast dick laser. <laughs> Penis bone. No, from his nipples. Oh, it's like uh, in uh, Austin Powers. Like, do, 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 do. it's created. It's so like here's it... the guy who built the fembots. Someone. Oh my. Like... So this guy is basically an X-rated Shin Godzilla. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like I, I was gonna say, like I said, he's the guy who made the fembots. It all makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> now we just need somebody to counter his mojo. Mm. Leader, yeah. all right, all right. I get cross, I get cross mojinations. Speaking of fembots and uh, those who partake in them, <clears throat> leader of the Kolaram, a group of mutated humanoids, ruler of the sewer, sewers, caverns, and transportation tunnels underneath the LA, <laughs> has created an explosive <laughs> device that, if implemented, would mutate upworlders. <laughs> Bro, you just destroyed the entire anime community. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So that's how, how furries were invented. It? So wait, this... <laughs> wait a second. That also means that this comic basically has made it canon that dropping the bombs turned people into anime fans. Oh my God, furries. it all makes sense now. <laughs> yes. We must drop Question. more. Question, though. Does the ge does the bomb only affect the upper extremities? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Science has gone too far. Or not far enough. <clears throat> Science for you to decide. Science is everything we make of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, Vladimir Leach. Vladimir Leach, brilliant entrepreneur, ruthless monopolist, owner of the Macrobus Development Facility. Leach's R&D people have revolutionized the field of machine intelligence with MAL, mentally augmented logic. Programs run out of Macrobus are interfering with LA's banking, stock and security exchange, and the cable, cable TV's computer systems. So, basically, this guy has created an AI that is now... Uh, canceling people for problematic content, probably, or something. Who knows? Beautiful. This, so... this, is, this is the most normal guy we have seen in this group. <laughs> yeah. So he's, the so he's basically yeah. the anti Elon Musk. Yeah. So also, like... also, he's in the lore considered the final boss. So he's the this final is... person that you arrest, or the final person you face in your does single he... day of police service in the game. Does he look like a Sorry, does he look like a discount Morpheus? Because I kind of feel like it. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Next yeah, up. Kind of. Next up, we have a Giga Chad. The, D <laughs> the Daytuna family. <laughs> <laughs> the Daytuna family. Ruthless street gang. Ma structured much like a mafia family. Solidified their rise to power with an ocean-going fleet of hovercraft and hydrofoils. The fleet allows them to traffic in human organs and cyber body parts. Led by Vic Daytuna, a dim-witted, one-time bodybuilding champion who is homicidal due to the rampant steroid abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger? Exactly. <laughs> oh my... Oh. Substance abuse. <laughs> I will give you an offer you cannot refuse. <laughs> <laughs> remember kid remember kids substance abuse leads to crap like this <laughs> so next yeah, up we substances do i have to abuse <laughs> all of them <laughs> all right midas Zeno, the guy that we were just talking about in the previous comic book story <clears throat> high seas pirate hijacker brother of xerxes based in avalon on Catalina island in possession, in position to harass indie ships entering Los Angeles Harbor. In command of the Shark Troopers, Extreme Z users who are attracted to great white sharks via a comm link. Shark God, Trooper. they really went. God, they, they really uh, went all in on the Austin Powers stuff before they made Austin Powers. 
<laughs> We've been making a lot of Austin Powers references tonight, and I love it. Yep. <laughs> M. Armoremo. Armor. Armoremo. 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 Professor. Fucking name. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Professor Megalito Armorinos, financier, corrupt master manipulator. Reckless ambition and fearlessness have enabled Amarinos to assemble the remnants of other L.A. Basin gangs. Their combined wealth is used to finance bizarre and outrageous experiments on humans. So this I think this guy is the most. I was saying, I think this is the guy. The, this guy is the most inoffensive criminal we've encountered so far. <laughs> and he also, you apparently fight him in LAX spaceport. You know the spaceport that had Elon Musk's spacecraft that got shot down. They're really having a really bad day there. Emphasis on yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doctor Xerxes Zeno, psychologist, drug impersonario, uh, an occasional student of history, uses drugs in place of Frederick and or a commanding voice, has a fortified enclave consisting of a refurbished chemical pl facility, a power plant, a robotics factory, and a deserted theme park. Manufacturer of the drug Extreme Z. Can you tell that he went to college? <laughs> <laughs> I went to college! <laughs> wow. Uh, bruh, you just destroyed the entire schooling system. <laughs> nice. Well after, we follow, well, after we did the education system that is anime, I figured we'd also follow up with the proper official education system as well. Mm. So what have we destroyed? What have we destroyed so far? We've destroyed the weebs. We destroyed the furries, and then we destroyed the education system. Are yes. you seeing a pattern? Yes. Are you seeing a pattern? Uh, <laughs> uh, dirty, stinking communists. <laughs> Which explains why this takes place in California. <laughs> yep. UC Berkeley. So all aboard to go into UC Berkeley. <laughs> <laughs> 